Hello everyone. So today I will be talking about our forthcoming resource on the American Committee on Africa, the first module of which will be published in November. Founded in 1953, the American Committee on Africa, abbreviated to ACOA, was a non-governmental organisation dedicated to supporting anti-colonial struggles in Africa and informing the American public about African affairs. Based in New York, it coordinated numerous initiatives in solidarity with African liberation movements in the second half of the 20th century. It hosted African leaders to speak in the US, lobbied the United Nations and the US government, raised funds, provided educational and medical support, published magazines, newsletters and pamphlets to raise awareness, and helped to campaign against major US banks and corporations from doing business with colonial regimes. A co of staff also travelled extensively throughout Africa, attending conferences and visiting newly independent countries. The ACO resource, therefore, will be a key source for the study of Africa's liberation movements, international solidarity and activism in the 20th century. Our resource will digitise the organisational records and collected papers of the ACOA, which are now held at the Armistad Research Centre in New Orleans. It will include materials from three main collections. The ACOA main collection, which are the records of the organisation up until the late 1970s. The ACOA addendum, which covers the early 1980s to the early 2000s. And thirdly, the George M. Hauser collection, which comprises of photographic slides and films made by George Hauser, ACOA's director from 1955 to 1981, during his many tours of Africa. Together, these collections will comp comprise the largest digital resource relating to the organisation. The resource will be divided into two modules. Module one will focus on the first half of ACOA's history up until 1981 and the retirement of George Hauser as executive director. Module two will then primarily cover the period from 1981 under its new director, Jennifer Davis, when ACOA's attention became ever more increasingly focused on supporting anti-apartheid struggles in South Africa. In this next slide, you can see the broad range of material types included in the resource. It includes all the executive board minutes of the committee and key outgoing and incoming correspondence. But it also includes periodicals, pamphlets, posters produced by ACOA and the many organisations it worked with. There are also photographs, films and audio recordings. In this next slide, you can see the key themes covered in the resource, including activism, US foreign policy, Cold War politics, human rights, lobbying and race relations. The resource will also include academic essays that will explore some of these key themes in more depth. And finally, in this last slide, I just want to mention some of the highlights of the resource. ACOA worked with numerous African political leaders, including Tom Boyer, Julius Nereri, Kwame Krumah, Eduardo Mondelein, and Oliver Tambo. And the collection includes correspondence to and from many of these key figures, as well as copies of their speeches and writings. In the course of its work, ACOA collected a large quantity of newspapers, magazines and pamphlets relating to Africa as part of its research library. These include publications produced by a number of African liberation movements and political parties, which are now rare or hard to find elsewhere. The resource also contains a wealth of material for the study of activism in the US. For instance, there is correspondence and collective materials relating to major US campaigns and boycotts to put pressure on US corporations and banks 
dealing with apartheid South Africa and colonial regimes in Angola and Mozambique. And lastly, the George M. Hauser collection contains over 1600 slides and over six hours of film footage taken by Hauser during his trips to various African countries as part of his work for Recover, which provides a unique capsule view of Africa during and following independence movements across the continent. Thank you for listening about this fascinating new resource.